Hello everybody, Grace Joe plays, and I'm back with more of the Long Dark, no time for BS. So real quick, I just wanted to show you guys this new update that happened to the game. This is a, apparently like, one of the largest core component updates they could make this year. This is called the Resolute Outfitter. We're gonna play this on Stalker real quick. This adds a few things. In particular, it adds a brand new region called the Forlorn Muskig. It says, for advanced players, a frigid open marshland bisected by a railway line. Weak ice and constant winds make this area highly dangerous, connects to Mystery Lake. And they also added, like, an entirely overhauled clothing thing. Now, real quick, let me mention this. I have done several episodes of The Long Dark, including one on Interloper Mode. There's been a break, obviously, since I've been making those episodes. And this, I can't say that this is going to be a long, drawn-out series. Mainly what I want to do is highlight this region a little bit. I like to show it off, kind of flounder around in it in a little while. And for that reason, I'm not doing this on Interloper. Because if I'm doing something on Interloper, I want to do it as seriously as possible. This, I want to do more like an exploration. Now, I don't know anything about this zone. I've never... I've never been on this zone, I have not, there's no maps of this zone that I know of, it just came out a couple hours ago. So, this is going to be new and exciting for me, and that's kind of why I want to do this, because I love it when the Long Dark gives me new and exciting things to do. So anyway, this may be one episode, this may be five episodes, three episodes, I don't know, it depends on what you guys think about it as well. If the response is good enough, maybe I'll keep it going. So let's see where we... Oh my god, did we just... You gotta be kidding me! I just spawned in the middle of night? Oh! And I spawned right by the train tracks. So... So let me guess. I mean, this would go into Mystery Lake then, I imagine? Hold on, let me just check something real quick. Um, leaving Forlorn Muskig. Yep, it sure does. Okay, well, I guess now we know where the entrance and exit to this... Oh, this is over by the, uh... The derailment. So the derailment goes to the Forlorn Muskeg. Okay. Well, this sucks in a way because we are like... It's like in the middle of the nighttime. It's like this game knew I was trying to show something off. And it was like, screw you, Gray. <laughs> screw you, Gray. No, none for you. Let's go check out the new clothing real fast. So you're going to see right here... There's an inner, uh, or an outer and an inner level of everything. So you can wear more than one item... Now, since I'm playing on Stalker and not Interloper, we at the very least start with more things than we're used to. Don't worry, I'm not going to hang out in uh, Mystery Lake or anything like that. However, since there's the potential to get good loot, like right here, I'm not going to not do it. You know what I mean? Ooh, we already found our first piece of clothing. Let's check it out. So, hands, work gloves, uh, they suck. They're not the best. Have heavy leather gloves designed to protect the hands on the work site. Unfortunately, not really designed for warmth. Yeah, I kind of freaking figured that. Figures. Uh, I guess I'll just kind of like wander around here real quick. Now, of course, as usual, it is epically cold outside because why wouldn't it be? I would hate for things to be too easy. Negative 26 degrees. That's awesome. That is just awesome. In fact, what we may have to do is get some sticks in there, have you together, and make a fire inside of the railway area, like ASAP. This way I can survive through the night so we can check out the forlorn muskeg in the daytime. Because I have a feeling that checking out a brand new zone while it's pitch black outside is not really the way that I'm supposed to be doing this. Although, the game does a good job at allowing you to be able to see while at the same time reminding you that it is night outside. What do we have? Seven hours of night time left. And it is still... Cold. It is still epically cold. Do. Wait a second. This our woman? All right. I don't know. She doesn't, uh... I was expecting someone a bit more... Like, she looks very brawny. I'm, I'm curious. I haven't seen... I haven't seen the... Uh, the doll. I don't know what to call it. The paper doll or whatever it's called. For the male and female together. Um... So I don't know what their differences are. I'm going to wander a little way from the entrance here just to see if I can get a couple of more sticks real quick. You can see we're already at risk for hypothermia. Things going well right off the bat. It wouldn't be an episode with Gray unless everything went wrong. Go ahead and grab a couple of these sticks. The reason, if you're new to the Long Dark, which probably most of you are not, but if you are slightly new to the Long Dark, the reason that I'm picking up sticks instead of looking for branches and breaking things is because it takes way too long 
to break stuff down uh, when you're freezing to death outside. And it's very, very quick for me to just double click on sticks and pick them up. And they are going to get us about seven minutes of fuel time each. Oh, some other things that... Now, there's a lot of things that changed. And there's no way I'm going to be able to regurgitate most of it. But some other things that changed was they mentioned that you can't sprint for as long, which sucks because I felt that the sprint wasn't a very long sprint to begin with. But on top of that, uh, not only can you not sprint for as long, but you you don't get as tired sprinting. So what I mean by that is that you, you, the duration of your sprint is less, but you don't get exhausted as quickly while sprinting, if that makes any sense. So, all right, so we managed to get a couple of twigs and stuff. That should be good enough for now. At least good enough for me to start a fire so that I can warm up a little bit. And then, yeah, I mean, other than having, like, a couple hours of fire that I might be able to do, we are, uh, we're just going to have to build what we can and then go out and do some exploring. Hopefully no terrible weather moves in. That's the other good thing right now that I'm not playing on Interloper because by now a blizzard would have rolled in. It would have already rolled in. The episode would be over. <laughs> So I'm kind of glad for that. Um, let's go ahead and... Hmm, all right. Let's go ahead and grab this cedar firewood real quick because why not? Any more firewood just kind of laying around here? No, it doesn't really look like it. What's the temperature? Negative 14 degrees Celsius over on this part of the train trackery. And on this side... Any better at all? Uh, negative 14. Okay, so it's both exactly the same. Uh, all right, that's fine. So let's, like, straight away here, build ourselves a little bit of a fire... Uh, we've got a 55% chance with everything. We've got 12 matches, which is very nice. We only have one piece of tinder, which sucks. I do have this accelerant, though, and you know what? I don't plan on... Like I said, I don't plan on this being, like, a million episode long go-through. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my damn accelerant. If you're playing the long dark and you're trying to survive, don't spam your accelerant like that. That's something that only a fool would do. A fool like me, but damn it, I'll do it for the purposes of YouTube. Down to negative two degrees Celsius, negative one degree Celsius, and come on, baby, really? Two more sticks then, how about that? There we go, one degree Celsius, we're good to go. While we're here, let's go ahead and make ourselves a little bit of water, plus that'll pass some of the time and get us a little bit warmer. Really, holy crap, it just went from like one to negative two back to one in uh, like a split second. That is not what I wanted to see at all. Um, okay, here. I'll feed a couple of more sticks in here to get this temperature up a little bit better. Now, I don't think that we have any food that we started with outside of our our power bar. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I'm going to check that in just a second here. Oh, three degrees Celsius. That's fantastic. Uh, all right. Let's take a look at our inventory real fast because I didn't go through this too much. We start with some painkillers, some antibiotics, a bunch of crappy clothing. Oh, we do start with a stale chocolate bar. A stale chocolate bar. Excellent. And we did find that energy bar, which is damn near like one of the best things that you could find for the weight. So I don't hate that at all. We've got this terrible hoodie and no way to repair it. Okay. Um, I'm a little bit warmer here. Oh, God. This sucks so bad. I want to show off this damn... I want to show off this damned uh, zone, and it's so hard because it starts me... I don't know where I started, come to think of it. I was going to say, like, it starts me off at the edge of the zone, but I really don't know where the edge of the zone is. You know, air quotes. It starts me off at night, though, which is the absolute... Oh, it's a freaking owl! Which is the absolute worst way to discover a zone. Already, I can see a sapling. Not that we have any kind of way to get it. And we are once again freezing. What is our hypothermia risk at? 1%, no big deal. Oh, they added frostbite, by the way. If there wasn't enough ways to die in the game... Oh, that is not a sapling at all. That is just a sad little shrub, scrub tree of some sort. Let's go over here. In fact, scrub brush. Oh, you can break it down seven sticks for 20 minutes. That is totally worth it. It's going to be very, very cold, but seven sticks for 20 minutes is amazing in this game, uh, all things considered. Let's see what we have around here. Are those wolves down there, or is that just a whole lot of nothing? My plan for this is we're probably going to wander around the outside of the perimeter of the map. Just try, gonna try and see if I can find anything of use. And that's kind of how we'll end up learning the map. Plus it's gonna keep me from getting totally lost. 
Uh, how are we doing hypothermia-wise? 17%. That's awesome. As usual, we are, we are losing status very, very quickly because of how freakishly cold it is outside. We're already down to 79%. That is absolutely terrible. We go ahead and get another bunch of sticks. Okay, now that we have enough sticks, I can go back over here by our fire, and I think we're going to have enough time to sleep here if we need to. Plus, we're going to get this temperature way the hell up. Which is good. Now, the one thing that, that being on non-interloper mode does give you... Let me go ahead and pump up the volume here quite a bit. There we go. Two and a half hours of heat. One thing it does give you is a bedroll, which I'm so damn happy for. Um, in fact, let's go ahead and do some camp crafting right away. If you want to do camp crafting, that's how you sleep, so to speak. Just kind of put this right over here. Uh, what does the temperature feel like right now? 14 degrees Celsius. I'm going to go ahead and sleep for two hours real quick. That'll get a little bit of our condition back. Like, not very much at all, by the way. Like, very, very little condition back for this. But the big thing that it'll do is it'll get us not freezing anymore. Which is kind of nice. 10 degrees Celsius. We've survived for five hours, and I already feel like I'm going to die at any minute. Great. Uh, we got another hour left on this. Let's go ahead and take a brand real quick. And kind of head on out of here. Uh, winded wise, eh, not doing great. Thirsty and a little bit hungry as well. There's the beautiful moon outside. I couldn't, I couldn't ask for more lovely scenery. It's just not conducive to surviving. Ugh, which is something I like to do. Let's continue to move along here. I see a lot of like busted out trees and everything. Now the one thing I've read a couple of not really reviews on the zone, but just like what people feel about the zone. Um, some people have posted in the forum area kind of their feelings on the zone. I'm actually going to follow these train tracks. I was going to go out around the perimeter, but for a minute here, I just kind of want to mess around with these train tracks and see if they go to anything of use. That would be really, really, really nice if they did. Because being outside in the negative 22 degree weather is not my, my best idea ever. Uh, and by not my best idea, I mean it's a freaking terrible idea and you shouldn't do this at all. <laughs> um, basically what they had said though is there is a ton of thin ice that you have to watch out for. There is a ton of cattail stalks, which is kind of like a food thing that you can get in the game. I really don't know what else to call it. It is, it is a, a resource that you can use to eat. Um, I think I see a cave over there. In fact, if that is a cave over there, that is where we're going to head. God, I hope it's not a bear cave. I also don't know how plentiful the wolves are on this map. But, yeah, we're probably going to have to head that way because we're going to freeze almost immediately. Right now, I can already see some cars over here. So we'll check these out real quick and see if there's anything of use. We're probably going to be freezing damn soon. All right, so we've got a couple of cards. We've got a first aid kit. We've got a piece of coal. Um, all right, I'll take it. Coal, whatever. Uh, ooh, I can already see some flares on the other side there. That is very, very nice. Um, that's actually going to be an excellent way for us to stay away from... Oh! Holy crap! We just found... We just hit the jackpot. And as usual, I throw my brand to the ground because I can't ever keep it in my hands. We've got a hacksaw over here. We have a cowl. Rifle cartridges, scrap metal. Holy crap, this is like a freaking gold mine in here, guys. Oh, I see some rifle ammo back over here. No rifle. Oh, whatever. I'm just going to throw that to the ground. Uh, let's see. We've got more pieces of coal. I'm going to go ahead and pick these up immediately. Wow, things are getting really, really, um, like, crappy outside. Like, look at how much darker it just got compared to where it was before. Um. Let me see if I can get around here, pick up some of these sticks real quick because... Um, with that fire barrel, that is really, really going to do well in keeping us alive. And we also have to find our way around, around this to the other side. Ah, I'll bet this is one way to get to the other side, sort of. Um, I also don't want to break my legs. Um, let me see here. Can we fall through this? Yes, we can. Okay, that worked out fairly well. Let's see what else is over here. I can already see tomato soup. Yes, I will take that all day. A little bit more scrap metal. More coal, man. Beautiful coal, I guess, uh, transporting object here. Damn. Bunch of barrels. Freezing. We're already freezing again. Because why not? A bandage. Almost hidden from view there. God, it is very, very dark outside. Okay. So, what I'm probably going to do is utilize this fire barrel. We have a couple more of these brushes. Now, back when I was playing, 
these brushes over here did not give you what they give you now. They didn't give you an ability. More coal. They did not give you an ability to break those down and get, oh shit, we don't have any tinder. Um, that is very bad. Okay, so what we need now is, holy crap, things just got real bad, guys. Um, like real, real bad. I need to find, hold on. Things just got real because I need a way to make a fire like immediately here. I need some cattail stalks. Oh God, I need some cattail stalks. I also need to not fall through the water. And of course, the weather is already getting absolutely dreadful outside. Crap. Where in the world are the cattail stalks around here? Come on, baby. There's got to be some cattail stalks. I know there is. I know you want to you want to show me the cattail stalks. Show me the cattail stalks, man. Oh, this is bad. This is real bad. Looks like a new day is dawning. Yeah, well, that's nice. A new day is dawning, but things are not looking good for us because I don't have a way to make fire. Um, wrap Ola. Oh, boy. You know, I think that starting on the nighttime was probably a really, really bad thing to have happen to us. Uh, I don't think I can stress enough how bad that was. How are we doing right now? We are totally freezing. Crap. Okay, let me, uh, let me continue to wander here. Man, and I hate, I hate the fact that I'm going further and further and further away from the only piece of, I, I don't even know if I can really call it civilization, but it kind of is. Um, the only piece of kind of sort of civilization that we had. I feel like there should be more cattail stocks. Oh, oh God, I see one. I thought, or I thought I saw one. Maybe I didn't. No, it was a mirage. There's no cattail stalks at all. And the winds are picking up. Damn it. Oh boy. Well, I wanted to show off the zone, but I think what's going to end up happening is, oh, oh God. Oh God, how could I miss them? How could I miss these? Okay, all these cattail stalks. Oh, cattail stalks, come to me, you beautiful bastards. All right, um, we've got to get back. We've got to get back to our, to that little area. Oh, the wind is hitting right into my face too. How are we looking on hypothermia? 22%. All right, that's good enough for me, man. Good enough for me if I can get some windshield protection to be able to kind of climb my way past this heavy wind here. I can't believe I almost missed those freaking cattail stalks, man. Those were timely as hell. Oh my god, the freaking wind. It did say, though, that there's high winds on this map. So I guess this is to be expected. All right, let me try and get past this, and I'm going to try and get us back to uh, to our little carts over there. All right, so far, so good. We made it over this little ridge here. I see a couple more sticks, which is excellent. I also see something laying on the ground over here. Is this a person? What is this? Oh, it's a stag. Oh, that would be great if I had a way to harvest it. Oh, I do have a way to harvest it. I have a hacksaw on me. Um, whoa, what the hell was that? Oh, I just got the free runner badge. Yay! You guys just saw me get my very, very first, uh, my very first, uh, feet. I kind of, back when I started playing, feats weren't around. And then when I kind of came back into the game, I didn't, all of my, all the stuff that I had achieved didn't count toward getting any of the feats. So, I never ended up getting anywhere feet-wise. Oh, boy. This is fantastic. I'll tell you what, though. Getting that feet damn near scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I almost wet myself a little bit. Let me get past all this. And try and get up in here. Oh, there's a backpack over here, too. Now that, now that things are getting a little bit lighter outside, I can see a little bit better. I can't believe that I wandered around the entire night and I'm still alive. This is amazing. That's when you know it's not, that's when you know it's not on uh, not on interloper mode. All right. Oh, there's, there's wood matches over here too. Holy crap, how valuable is that? Okay, a uh, little stick right here. Get this started. Let me see if I can not die real fast. 
And then we're gonna see, I don't know, man. I don't, now they said that there is like almost no man-made structures no that you can live in on this map. So I don't know what to expect. Like, I don't think that there's like even a house on this map. I think they're all just outdoor places like this, like you'd find on Timberwolf Mountain. Which is good and bad. Like, I like the survival aspect, but I also like being able to, if I wanted to, you oh son of a bitch. I also like having the potential to have a place on the map where I can call my home. So, 60% chance, man. Come on. Someone had said, this is way back in my earlier, in my earlier playthrough of The Long Dark, that the 60% the chance, 75% chance, no matter what it is, it always feels like a 50% chance. The only time when it's not a 50% chance is when it's a 100% chance. Um, I kind of feel the same way. Sometimes I've had I've had things where it said like 75% chance of starting a fire and I failed like 90 times in a row. So, well, maybe not that many times. That's me just over exaggerating. Oh, little fire. Thank you so much. Oh, All right, throw the reclaimed wood in there. Throw the sticks in there. Now the coal, you can't do it until 24 minutes pass by, unfortunately. So that's kind of just the way it is right now. You can see right now, 12 degrees. So needless to say, very, very cold. We've got this sad little container in here that we've already gone through. We've got a piece of, a piece of scrap metal, which is kind of nice. It is nine degrees. Um, I'm definitely gonna use this coal when I get the opportunity. In fact, what kind of temperature am I looking at right now? Seven degrees Celsius. <sighs> I'm gonna use the rest of these to get us down to four degrees. Okay, so now what we can do is throw down our bedroll real quick. I think this is gonna give us 4.2 Celsius. Okay, we can sleep there for one hour. That'll get time passed by. Hopefully it warms up a little bit because right now it is like just terrible outside. I'm gonna go ahead and eat my little candy bar here too. Normally I just starve, but we got the crap kicked out of us so early in the game, like condition wise that I'm not gonna take that chance. You can see too, it takes a lot longer to eat and stuff, I feel. Okay, let me go, son of a bitch. Let me go ahead and put this back down. I don't know why I just dropped it instead of doing anything else. All right, let's go ahead and sleep here. I think that we're still gonna lose some condition though because uh, it, we're not at like a net positive. Let me see how it looks. Okay, 44%, so not terrible. Cold weather, hypothermia. Uh, two degrees, essentially. There we go. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you, God. There we go. That pumps it up big time. 14 degrees Celsius now. We are plenty tired, though, so we're going to be able to sleep much longer. In fact, I'm going to add... God. I'm going to add this much right here. That'll give us four hours that I'll be able to sleep which is exactly what I'm gonna go ahead and do. That'll get us a little bit more condition back. It'll warm us up completely. And hopefully like this, the weather that looks like it's about to move in does not move in. Don't you kill me, you bastards. Oh, all right, we just got some flurries out right now. 80 degrees Celsius next to this. I'm gonna pick up my bedroll. Um, I'm gonna take a brand real quick. And we'll kind of continue pushing on because there's nothing, that is a bear. That is a bear. Great. Great. Um, now I'm trying to remind myself which way I came from. Uh, let me think here. Which way did we come from? What did I see first? Did I see these like this? Shit. Oh boy, I don't remember. Um, this is why I usually go around the perimeter of the, uh, of the map. Makes things a little bit easier. At least it's negative six degrees outside. I feel I feel like it's a lot warmer outside than it was previously. Let's take a look at this. Uh, yeah, let's go this way. Let's go this way. What I'll do is we'll trek around this way for a little bit. How's the condition? 55%. Absolutely dreadful. We'll trek around this way a little bit. And we'll see if we can find anything else, like any other um, structure that we could live in for a little bit. Maybe something better than a damn train car. Train car isn't really the best thing I could have hoped for. Moving along here, 
Man, this is just like a barren friggin' expanse. They said it was barren. They weren't freaking kidding. About as barren as you get. Um, now, I don't know what's on the other side of this. Like, if you continue through the, uh, through the, the tracks here, I don't know what you eventually come to. So, I mean, there's no new zone outside of this, and it said the only thing that it connects to is Mystery Lake. So, I guess it dead ends somewhere. Um, oh, man. I don't want to leave the path too much because, like, we really need to keep going. But, like, every once in a while I see cattails, and I feel like I should get them because we probably need more tinder on us. I'm going to start trucking it. How's our, how's our, all right, yeah, we're, we're not that, we're not that winded right now. I'm going to start trucking it along here. Um, if we see cattails like this, I'll pick them up. There we go. And I'll drop down my freaking... They really need to change that. I would really appreciate if they would change dropping the torch down from the left mouse button to something else. Um, because I can't tell you how many times I've lost it just because I was clicking. Oh, there's wolves right over there. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've lost it just from like a misclick or whatever you want to call it. Okay, we definitely didn't come this way because the railway wasn't broken like this. Um, this is good though. We're finding all kinds of cattail stalks. So now we have enough tinder. It's just a matter of having enough. What is that over there? Ooh. That's like a, um, what do they call that? Like a hunting stand over there. Uh, all right. That's not really a good structure either, but it's something. Like, it's a shelter of sorts, I guess I'll call that. Oh, God. All right, let's go ahead and push through and find out more about it. Um, I see something else up ahead. Oh, that's probably the end of the zone. Okay, I was going to say, it looks like a giant bridge or something up ahead. And I think that's what this is. I, mean, I don't know, maybe it's more carts. Could be that, too. Actually, it looks like a bunch of things have derailed here. Okay, now we have to... I want to get to that. But I don't want to fall through the ice. Because like I had said, people said there is just like, like ice that breaks everywhere around here. Let's skip across this real quick. There we go. I see more cattail stalks over there. I'm going to leave those for right now. I am going to grab these sticks. Because we are dangerously low on sticks. Now the good part is that I have a hacksaw on us at the very least. Um, Can we get across this? Hold on. Let me go this way. A little bit less water over this way. I do not want to fall through the ice, man. Falling through the ice in this game is like probably one of the worst things that can befall you as an adventurer. <laughs> you get instant hypothermia. Um, it's just bad all around. I don't know what else to say. It's just terrible. Don't let it happen to you. It's happened to me. Not on camera, luckily. That would be embarrassing. Go ahead and grab all this. Grab all these as well. More sticks. God, I love you sticks. You're so... I'm so happy to see you. Let's get through here. All right, we've got another deer. Wow, there's actually quite a few carcasses around. I'm really happy. Oh God, it's just bones. That looks terrible. Um, I'm gonna duck down here to get a little bit of wind, wind chill resistance. Ooh, a worn toque. How to survive in the wilderness, dog food, energy bar. Grab all that real fast. Oh, this is not what we want. We want the C button now. Wear this toque on top of what we got. Might as well. Not missing anything else, am I? Nope, doesn't look like it. Holy shit, what the hell just happened? Um, I didn't take anything off, did I? Okay, good. I can't feel my hands. All right. I see some more sticks over here. I'm going to go ahead and grab these. And now I have to figure out what I want to do. Do I want to go toward that area over there? Or do I want to push my luck, kind of continue to go this way? Hold on, I see something else on the ground here. Oh, firewood. That's pretty good. Oh, since these are right here, I'm going to go ahead and grab them. Honestly, the more... Man, you can survive on cattail stalks for a long time in this zone. Holy crap. Like, before, I felt like I couldn't find any cattail stalks, and now I'm feeling like I'm finding them all. Jesus. That's what you want to see, though, baby. Cattail stalks by the plenty. All right, let's move around this way. We've got dry land, which is good. Um, Just going to kind of keep pushing. I'll bet... At least I'm hoping that there is some sort of livable area once we get inside of the, uh, inside of the, uh, what I, what I imagine will be a cave over here. I would expect. 
Man, look at all that. Look at all that wreckage right there. Holy crap. I'm gonna go down this way. And maybe there'll be some bodies over here by the wreckage or something? Crap, we're already at risk for hypothermia again. Which means we're gonna... Oh, Jesus Christ. Great. A, a friggin' pair of wolves right there. Excellent. Oh my god, it's totally caved in. You gotta be freaking kidding me. Oh no. Of course. Of course. Oh, whatever. Alright, I'm gonna... Let me think about this for a second. I hear a bunch of crows kind of hanging around over this way. I'm gonna go this way real quick. Um, man. This sucks. This zone is a real pisser. Oh, what is this? It's like a little, little natural alcove back here. Hold on. What do we got over here? Oh, we got a dead guy. Hold on. This could be good. Oh, we've got a rifle. Oh, I'm gonna die. I am gonna die of freaking hypothermia, but we got a rifle. We also have a campfire over there that's burned out. But I think that we could potentially use it if we wanted to. This guy has nothing of use on him. That's fantastic. Thanks, buddy. Um, oh my god, though. We have a rifle. I know we have several rounds on, on us. Yeah! Yeah, baby. Oh, is there anything else of use around here, though? Any place that we can call home. Nothing. Zero. Nada. Zilch. Totally empty. Barren. Oh, crap. Now, from what I understand... So... Wait, what is that? Oh, my God. Do you see that? It looks like a home. Okay, we need to get over there somehow. Um, Please don't fall through the ice. Please don't fall through the ice. Don't fall through the ice. Okay, good. Usually when you when you walk on places that have like um like growing plants like this, you can expect to not fall through the ice. Okay, this looks really promising. I see something else over there. I don't know what it is. But I see something else. Is this another flare? Ooh. Okay, we have some good ways to survive right now. We've got a rifle on us, which is going to be good for kind of protecting ourselves from any kind of wolves that we come across. The big issue is how cold it is and how cold we are all the time. Oh, wow. Yep. That is something over there. That is a whole lot of something. Hold on. At the very least, I see like a, a crappy little barn or something. Hold on. Let me try and get down here without breaking our legs. Um. Okay. Hold on. Let me kind of... Let me kind of get around over here. They don't fall through the ice. Let me kind of like hug. Hug this wall. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit! Oh no! That's what I was talking about. Now we have hypothermia. And our clothing is wet. Oh, that sucks. That sucks beyond all capacity for things to suck. Um, damn it. All right. Well, that just cut us like way, way short on our on our survival. Um, because this is not the way that we're going to be able to get there. We would probably have to go way around that way. And I don't think that there's any way that I can survive right now. Just because I would have to... Okay, so when you get hypothermia, what you have to do is you have to keep your core temperature above freezing uh, for 24 hours. Which means that one way or the other, I would have to keep us above freezing for 24 hours. And I don't have a way to do that. Uh, because I, Well, first off, I don't have enough fuel. But besides that, we are now going to start losing status. Like, epically fast. We're also going to get very, very drained and tired. Um, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to try and get over there at least to show us what it looks like. And if I die along the way, I'll let you guys know. Hold on. All right, guys. Things are getting real. There's that little homestead over there. You can see that they kind of outline the path that you have to take. So this is good to know. You got to take this little bridge here to get there, I think. But we are, like, legitimately almost dead. You can see right here, 7% health left. There is almost no way that I'm going to survive. 
There, well, there is no way that I'm going to survive. We're at 6% right now. But I'm going to... Oh, there's two wolves right there as well. Um, and now I think they're coming after us. Crap. Uh, all right, 4%. We are... We're goners. Okay. But that's pretty cool. That's the, fir that's the first look at this little area here. The little alcove. A little something right over here you can see. It's like a little, uh, a little tiny... Like a little hut or something like that. That was... I just sprained my wrist? How did I sprain my wrist? That doesn't make any sense. Maybe I can make this fire before we die. Down to 2%. 1%. There's no way. We're gonna die. Okay. So this is... This is a legit tough zone. Lots of... Lots of ice to fall through. Very easy to fade into the long dark too. But I at least wanted to check it out for the first time. Guys, if you want to see me give it another go or something like that, feel free to let me know. Obviously not my best performance. But then again... I guess I really didn't know what to expect, and there's not a lot, a lot out here for us. I did, we did manage to find a lot of cool stuff, though. We got a rifle. We found those downed tracks there with all those carts, and we also found at least some sort of barn area. I think that that is probably maybe like one of the main structures in this little zone. Guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of The Long Dark. Until next time, folks, stay foxy. Much love.